it got announced. And I remember just that heart sinking feeling. Oh my God, what do I do? And my ass was so numb. Like it felt like my, my hips just like dug through the muscle. So there was 39 cables going under my rower and it looked like someone just took two gallons of water and dumped it out. Oh. So we walked off just real hard, got behind the curtain. I was like, ah. And then they tell us, they're like, you cannot get in the ice bath. Like your body will go into shock and you'll oh, be in yeah. trouble. Yeah. I'll cut it, cut it there. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to scratch my head tomorrow morning. It felt, felt good though to stand and do, do the arm bike. Did you do the marathon row? Yeah, you, did. you weren't there the first year they did it, were you? Or when, you were? when they did the half marathon? Yeah. No, but they did the full marathon. Yeah. How did like? Did you just like laugh about it or no? Like like how 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 could you possibly put yourself? We, we were at the athlete dinner and it got announced, and I remember just that heart sinking feeling. I'm like, it's two days away. Oh my God, what do I do? You know. It's, no, like you're not allowed to have music, couldn't watch a movie or anything, so it's just like... And then like, I remember going up to the DJ after, I was like, whatever you play, please don't play house music with a lot of bass. Because the, the speakers were right behind me. In fact, three, two, one, go, and I was just do, do, do. I was like, oh. three hours of this. Three hours of pounding bass in your... And then I remember I got to 17,000 meters remaining, and I was like... Oh. Remaining? 17,000 remaining and I was like oh thank god I'm, I'm almost done and then I started doing some math and I was like if I if I hold this pace I have an hour and four minutes or an hour and eight minutes left and I was like oh no it was at the 17,000 meters remaining every stroke my forearms quads hamstrings did you ever stop no did, were people like stopping well, I think one person stopped and like, and then get went again. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. But it was yeah from at 17,000 meter mark, forearms, quads, and hamstrings, calves. Every stroke, they would have that flutter like they were gonna cramp. It was just like I would pull. You feel like like we all know the hamstring cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was everything, and it would like it would go away. But okay, another pull. This yeah. is when I went out on the floor, they they gave you a little hand basket like like grocery grocery basket. And I said, whatever you can fit in that, you can take it on the floor with you. And I think I had eight liters of like Gatorade and water, pound of gummy bears, Snickers bars, pickle juice, everything. As I'm going out, O'Keefe is trying to shove two more liters of water in my basket. I was like, dude, I have over a gallon. Like, I'm not, gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna drink one of these, let alone eight. Hour in, I was out of water. No way. Hour in. Was just like was it the most you sweat like ever? Like ever. Was it impossibly amount of that was still in Carson, right? I, or yeah. Was that, yeah. No, that was Madison. Was no fans on the floor, like no like air fans. So 80 people breathing heavy, sitting in the same spot for three hours. Dude, lungs were fucked the next day. Like I got yelled at for uh, I got accused of peeing on the rower by by staff. Like we we were told like no peeing on the rowers. And I remember a group of us were like you're gonna piss on the rower, right? We're all like, yeah, definitely. Never ended up peeing, but it looked like someone took two gallons of water and just poured it out under my rower. The, the, guys, the guys from Concept 2 has like an emergency. Yeah, you, you peed sweat out of your so, That's why you didn't piss, yeah, you had no yeah. more fluid in you. So the guys from Concept 2 had like an emergency meeting during the event, because I was the first rower or the last rower that was plugged in. So there was 39 cables going under my rower and it looked like someone just took two gallons of water and dumped it out. Oh, on the cables. How do you not see that coming? Uh, this is CrossFit, that's how. <laughs> Sorry, it's my channel. Like, we can I fuck. remember like, so it was like, like, you know, like. CrossFit I mean, fucking, they didn't know what kilos were this year at the open, bro. Like, never change. <laughs> you know? I remember watching like, one of the, like the, like European guys, like who's like 6'2", 220 pounds, finishes the row, gets up and just like fucking, bah! walks off the next european dude like lucas hogberg lucas esslinger like they finish big fucking i'm like you look like a gladiator in the middle of this dome everyone's dying and you're just like yeah. fucking pound your chest walk off i was like i just want to finish so i can fucking stand up pound my chest and walk off i finished the row stand up the guys in concept two walk over like hey you can leave 
I pulled one of them in, I was like, carry me the fuck off the floor, <laughs> but make it look like I'm walking. Yeah. So we walked off just real hard, got behind the curtain, I was like, Ugh. It's just your super drunk friend and you're pretending we ended up burning him, Dude. just carrying him. Like, and then they tell us, they're like, you cannot get in the ice bath. Like your body will go into shock and you'll oh, be in yeah. trouble. Yeah. And my ass was so numb. Like it felt like my, my hips just like dug through the muscle. So Keith had to cradle me like a baby and just dip Don't. my ass cheeks. <laughs> In the water. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good age. So we just yeah. toilet for too long? Oh no, it's never happened to me either. No, no. <laughs> but I remember Dead. like uh, BKG got in the ice bath. Yeah. Like no one told him. He just like got it, stepped in up to his knees and started yelling for help. Like he just like seized. Yeah. Help! Help! And somebody had to come over and grab him, get him out. Oh, what the fuck? That's so like actual rowers would never even consider doing shit like that. Oh uh, no, I mean, like they, they wouldn't. I mean, I don't want to speak for all rowers, but I know a lot of their training is like, they'll do three hours at their zone two pace. So, oh, so they might hit. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely crushing oh, well over a okay, marathon. Okay, I'm wrong. But no, I'm one, wrong. but no one competes in it. Yeah. And I don't think they're doing that on the earth. Dude, I think that's- not doing it with four other events. That, 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 they're they're, doing, it, aren't, don't they're they? doing it in the row tank. That, that's what I was told. I've never oh, experienced it, done it. Not, not on an erg, not on an erg. They would never erg, okay. I mean, who, who knows? Like, yeah. I've talked to like two rowing coaches. Yeah, right. So, the only rowers I ever knew is like the the Marin Rowing Club, and they just had the loft above the boathouse, and it was just two columns of concept two words, like as far as you could see. It's like, oh, shit. That's a good budget. When you when you like tap into these like individual little sports, and you see like the actual athletes in them, you're like, whoa, 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 like. I saw, I, was, I went down a rabbit hole of Olympic rowers and like what they would do on ergs. Yeah. And some dude was doing some 2K for time. I think he broke the yeah. world record. He's cruising at like a 124. Like cruising. If you, if you look up the world records on C2, you'll, you'll never feel worse about yourself. Uh, <laughs> Cam Nichols, uh, he was the first guy that, uh, Olympic rower from uh, Great Britain, I think. Um, like world championships, yeah. all this stuff. And uh, he came to the gym and did a rowing demo. Uh, like came up to meet with me, but then put yeah. on a seminar for anyone that wanted it. And he was pulling a sub six minute 2K pace, so sub 130, yeah. and talking, talking Dude, through I, it. Dude, I'm telling you, I saw, He's I like, watched. hey, so like you see here, I'm catching up tight here. And it's still like, it's just zoom. Yeah, yeah, zoom. yes. Yeah, yeah, so impressive. Yeah, I, I, the erg, the shit they do on the erg is like makes all the CrossFit shit look laughable, you know. But that's that's not to take away from CrossFit. Like, I mean, of course, that's how it works. Like, like I I'm, mean, there's like an impressive lift in CrossFit, and then there's an impressive lift. Exactly. Like, you know, like, yes. I'm not kidding myself. I'm like, yes, in CrossFit, I'm a great weightlifter. Yeah. When I go to weightlifting, yeah. No, like, but I'm not turning any yeah. heads. To be fair, though, I would say that that top ten. CrossFit, male and female, they're, they're nipping at some agree. heels yeah. in, with, with some of those I specialists. For so sure. like I, I, I agree came, 100%. When I first came into CrossFit, it, it was like, what are you guys doing? Like, guys, there, there's YouTube videos of how to do this. Like, the resources are there. And then now, yeah, now it's it's starting to come on par. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, I remember it was basically you have 120, you snatch 120, you're pretty fucking good. I, I still think you're pretty good, like you can consistently snatch 120. But like, I don't. I just recently saw like a bunch of shit at uh, Wadapalooza. They didn't snatch, but a lot of numbers went down at Wadapalooza. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, like the they did the total in the in the team. It was like uh, front squat, overhead squat, jerk. Mm -hmm. And there was like plenty of guys front squatting over 400 pounds, plenty of guys overhead squatting over 150 kilos, whatever that is, one third or three thirty, yeah. And then uh, a couple guys, one guy jerked over 400, um, Morakino or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that was not a thing, right? Back, yeah. way back. No, I remember when I first came in. If if you could snatch two blues, you were the man. Really? Yeah, that, so I remember coming in and being like... Okay, so I was over then when 120. <laughs> yeah, I was way over. Yeah. <laughs> the first... Uh, I'm trying to think. One of the last, or maybe the last games in Aromas, there was a snatch ladder. And it was a slaughterhouse. I mean, like, you were just like, how many elbows are going to explode? Like, shoulders. But the weights were nothing. The max snatch 
that year in Aromas was like 145 or 155. And then it was like two years ago, they put out a stat like the average snatch on the women's side was 182 for the 15 year olds. It was, it was some crazy stat like that where it's like, oh, now we have 14 year olds doing what the winners are doing. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's going to keep trending that way. Yeah. Like, you, draw, you draw more and more athletes, which means you get deeper and deeper talent pool, which means I mean, they, they they to every football. kid, every guy that's playing in the NFL right now, think about if you know he did Olympic weightlifting or cross, like, but. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, do the 40 in three fucking seconds. <laughs> I, I, remember, I had a weightlifting coach that made that point. Like, it's like, why does the U.S. just suck on the world scene? And he's like, because we have NBA, NFL, like all these yeah, sports yeah, that, yeah. that's what the kids are dreaming for. They want for those sure. big paychecks. Jim Schmidt said it best. He's like, he's like, how are you going to get a kid who's a decent football player and say, hey, you can go get a free education have a bunch of girls be interested in you, or I can make you a weightlifter and guarantee you a life of poverty and obscurity. Yep. It's a no-brainer for any 18, 17, 19 year old kid. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sure. I think, yeah. I think, I think, think I saw, that's I, the reason, one of the biggest reasons I stuck around in the gym at first. I was like, so I have oh little, my God, there's girls here. Yeah. <laughs> I have a little theory uh, on on CrossFit and, and I think that that, Average age of women CrossFitters are getting, or at least on the elite side, are getting younger, and same thing with men. And I think it's one because the methodology, or, or at least the getting to competition, is becoming more systematic. Like people have systems in place, and then the youth can come in and like reach those places. But also the the, the age group of women that can take the most training is going to be right around 18, 19 years old. Like. Those are gonna, and then same thing for men, I think it might be 22, 23, maybe a little bit later. Because women ages are gonna be older. You, you'll see, like, you'll see those women can get younger. more mileage. Yeah, I think I think that's because we're on generation 2.0 of CrossFit now. All So all the original generation of CrossFit, yeah. their kids grew up right. watching mom and dad do this ridiculous stuff, and now it's normal. Yeah. So you have someone like a Mal who starts doing CrossFit at 13. And you didn't have that yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. It was it was weird. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, it's it's amazing seeing this evolution and also being in weightlifting, catching it is like thank you. All right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, you got to work out, bro. Let's go.